Okay, got this in yesterday. Surprise, wanted to make a video, but uh, I felt uh, I would do it when I get some nice natural light. So here it is, the Star Wars Toy Guide Volume 1, Kenner Action Figures, 1977 to 1985 by Gianni Venturini and uh, Greg Armstrong. Sorry, I can't even speak. I'm getting my uh, teeth done, so my apologies. I got this weird lisp thing going on. But uh, anyways, we really do care. Look at this. They even send you out uh, one of these recommendations. Keep the book on a flat surface, you know. Um, excellent. You know, you don't want to be putting it on your lap to cause unnecessary warps, warpage. Anyways, uh, this is the first time I opened this up, so let's uh, go. I have seen a few pe other people's reviews. Okay, so here you go. And, uh... Star Wars Guide Volume 1. I can't wait to Volume 2. Now, a special thanks out to uh, Tim. Uh, uh, Tim at Boss Bounty. Uh, there's so many that uh, brought attention to this, but there was this one live stream. I need to go back and find it, but uh, it was only one Kenobi. I believe uh, BOE, Blacked Out Ewoks. Great channel. Great guy. Um, I think it was Jules Bird. I think he was, he, I mean, he was another critical guy in there too. And uh, Usual Mike and uh, Shabby and all these guys that brought this to my attention. Uh, Tez and uh, Matt, who I think is, uh, I don't know, he used to be USR. Now it's, I forget his, uh, I think it's Zero Hunter now. You can find him on, I don't know. He keeps changing his uh, thing there. It's messing me up. But, uh, and so many others that brought this uh, to my attention. Um, but obviously Tim and uh, action figure grader John Rula. So special thanks to them. I will try and move this a little more over here like that. There's oh yeah, here's my only one Kenobi patch. But anyways, looks really nice. Look at that, beautiful. And you can tell this book. No, uh, what's that saying? No table has been unturned. I forget what the saying is, but you know what I mean. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, that's Stormtrooper. Look, that's a nice variant of it. Yeah, some of the quality on some of these is some of the figures. Some special thanks stuff there, I guess. Um, you know, there it is. Oh, sorry, Red, Red Five, Red Five Designs, Gianni Venturini. I can't even say his name, I, and I, I can say his name. It's just my teeth, ugh. Anyways, there it is, 2022. Now, this was brought to my attention at the very uh, end of this whole uh, thing, so I was one of the last people, but I would have bought a bunch of these. And thanks goes to those who contributed. Yeah, so there's some uh, Ron Salvatore, Mark Yale, look at that, yeah, well. Um, Bless these guys, man, because this is uh, incredible. Look at that. Oh, look at they got Bosk. I guess uh, maybe that was a Tim influence. As a kid, I would see that action figure, and sometimes I'd walk right by. I wouldn't even... Uh, I always thought they were... You know, as the figures got better, right? One of the reasons why I loved the card backs. But uh, here we go. Oh, look, he's even got his own action figure. That's awesome. And it's in uh, Power of the Force 1. There's there. There's Gianni. Venturini. Venturini. I can't, I can't say it with my teeth. Usually I can pronounce Italian names. No problem. There's Armstrong. Uh, he's got his. I guess these guys are Power of the Force 1. Maybe that was more of their gen. I don't even know. But uh, there's Kenner, A Brief History. Look at this. Yeah, there's Action Man. I think I had that. I'm pretty sure I've ha I had that as a kid. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, there's the Vintage Collection, right? Um, probably should have had an OTVC there. I'm going to start nitpicking them. Just kidding. But uh, here you can see the history. Yeah, the evolution of the action figure. Like... Here, here it is, the famous uh, Mailway Early Bird Certificate. 
you got the original four there. And, and the famous display. I can't wait to the second one already. I haven't even looked at this one. Oh, and the here's some of my apps here's two of my absolute favorites, card backs. Uh Snow is probably my favorite. And the Boba Fett, this version. I actually like this version better than uh, the Blue Sky Fett. Not that I don't like the Blue Sky but That's right up there, too. But I don't know. Look at these different variants. Here we go. Oh, look at this. The history of these. You know, and this is all um, Hasbro has to do, you know. It's just re-release them just like this, and you just you know, at least get the card back done. What the hell? And the Vintage Collection should be doing the exact same thing. You know, Star Wars Empire Return of the Jedi. I mean, hell, they've already started on alternative card backs like, like this. You already got the Canadian Yoda. Like, why not keep going? You know, you, you know. anyways, I don't make a rant. This is supposed to be about this book. Beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful. You know, just, there's the Blue Sky Fett. It's like, why couldn't they just do that? You don't even get his piss. you don't even get him with his, uh, with his rifle there, you know? I mean, that's just ridiculous on the uh, TVC. But, uh, yeah, Bosk, that's a beautiful card back. In regards to the Vintage Collection, I have her on Punch. That's one of the nicest card backs out there it looks so good and oh look at that nice yoda i had that that was that was a figure i got i think in 84 and it was an empire strikes back card back i think it was punched if i remember but i remember getting that and going oh wow it's an empire strikes back card back you know um uh, actually, I think I had, I got a second one of them and it was the Empire Strikes Back card back and that was actually in 86. So there was still a few Empire card backs. It was a little beat up, but it wasn't that bad. I wanted to keep the card back, but anyways. Uh, memories, right? Yep, these. The telescoping. I had this version for sure because I had at least three R2-D2s, uh, you know, as a kid. Um, Ah, uh, the Imperial TIE Pilot. This was the biggest, biggest demand here. Oh, with Suckus. See, there's all the different variants. There's supposed to be like a sticker uh, thing that you can put the stickers on or something eventually. I don't know. Once they've been found or something. Yeah. Here's the notes here written. Like, look at the detail on this. Just incredible. Look at that. If you can get... They're going to be doing a second... Pr this is one of my absolute favorite card backs. That is beautiful. I had that figure. Specifically, I remember getting two... I think I had two Luke Jedis. I remember getting them in the in the uh, Return of the Jedi, but I, I did have this and the coin. And I did have uh, one of these Ewoks, and I think it might have been uh, Lumat. Obviously, I had him, him, him. I had most of the 96. I'm pretty sure I had them all. And I did have the A-Wing pilot. I, I think I had him. I remember I passed up on him a couple times, though, which was embarrassing. And a man, a man. Um, I did not ever get this, I don't think. I don't think I ever did. At the tail end of my uh, collecting, I was able to get a lot of these. Um, pretty sure I had him. I never. I don't think I got him. I did get him. Yeah. I mean, some of them were. A lot of them were beat up. You know, they were. Some of them were beaters. It's hard to uh, look back, but. Oh, we skipped a page here. Oh, this book. Oh, there's my one of my favorites. Let me get the sticker with them. These are all offered. Leia again. Of course, Farm Boy Luke. Look at this. Oh, yeah. 
Look at all these gems. We're going on 10 minutes here, card backs. There's 12, 20, 12, 21, yep. Um, the Empire card backs I remember getting were more around here, I think, to the tail end, and then uh, Return of the Jedi. So 82 was really, I mean, I had Star Wars figures before I was actually, just before I was born. I think my grandfather got me a couple of them on my mom's side, but look at these such a beautiful look and see this is the layout and this is what they should be doing by hasbro today it ain't that complicated but there's no organization man i don't know it makes me just want to start re getting all this stuff which will happen oh look at those beautiful finger here you can see the card backs or the back of the card backs rather or the card back i call them fig backs the figure and the card back. Problem is with those snow troopers, they all most of them all go yellow. You just gotta dip them in uh, hydrogen peroxide, put them in the sun for two days, and then they're fine for a couple of years. Yeah, see, this is where they're looking for. Right, get the sticker sheets. I wanted to order the uh, the mini guide, and I did email them, but um, I don't know. They they were overwhelmed, I guess. So, I mean, I'm just I'm lucky enough just to get the book, you know. Um, but this is, you know, even if you're not, if you can't afford to really get into the original TVC, or sorry, the original Kenner. Um, buy this book. You know, it's the closest you're going to get. And then you can just pick up a lot of the retro line and maybe the odd. Uh, you can either pick up some of the card backs, a few of them loose here and there, but I guess we'll sort of skip along here. Here's the Stormtrooper. Oh, trying to get him was the biggest problem. Where I finally got him was in a Return of the Jedi. And I think uh, I remember it was in Oakville Place. And I don't see him under a tri-logo here. But um, maybe that's in the later. You know. Oh, Luke Skywalker, Bespin. I remember a lot of times I passed up on this figure, even in uh, when it came to uh, coming through on garage sales and that. I just wouldn't really... Sometimes, I, sometimes with these figures, like I just wouldn't even clue in that they were... It almost confused me. This was a figure I loved. As a kid, I remember getting him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The Zuckus and the Forlom. He's actually supposed to be Forlom, but whatever. Maybe he is Zuckus. Oh, yeah. I remember getting this Return of the Jedi, this exact card back. Just incredible. Oh, there's the Piglet. That's what I used to call him, Gamorrean Guard. Oh, wait a second here. I I just, oh yeah, here's where it opens up. Oh, look at that. Shows some of the difference in variants there. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's worth a bit of money these days. Dengar, Boba. As a kid, I loved these two. No Luke. I loved it all. This is a figure I don't think I ever bought. Or I was able to get. Uh, Han, I didn't have him. I think I did get him, actually. But his, his, his arms and everything were all wobbly. Um, I'm not sure. At the tail end of it, I was able to pick up, I think, like 17 or 18 more of them. And I had about... 55 or 60 um, figures, and then I was able to pick up pretty much really close to the 96. And I put them in this yellow uh, box container, and yes, I did have at least, 100% I know I had one of these. Um, what a mistake, what a, oh man. 
my mom gave them away and that and along with all these spare weapons i had because i had those weapon packs oh man it happens this is just fantastic. What an amazing book. Just incredible. Oh, okay, so then you start getting into... Yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a... Oh, there, here, this is what I mean. These are what... This is perfect, because this is going to make me want to get all the vintage... I hope these guys do a vintage collection one, but... Problem with the vintage collection, it never ends. I've been getting this one. I have two of these. Oh, there's one they should. I don't think they've done that. They got that. In, in TVC, right? Got to get this and that. But, um, you know, it's not hard, Hasbro. Just do all this. I remember when I got my Stormtrooper, and I only got one. Um, they were expensive at the time, and they had a whole stack of these, and I was begging my parents to get me this. It was... It was at the tail end of Return of the Jedi 2. It was in 86 or 87. And some dealer guy came in or collector and bought the whole thing. So I, I wasn't able to get back there for a good month and a half, two months. And they're like, oh, it's all gone. Sorry, son. No, nope, no more. Ugh. I don't know if they got any of the droids lined up in here. Alden's Christmas 1979. Yeah, I remember as a kid in the 80s, and we'd go through, uh, oh, what the hell was it called? When you have, like, we'd go through magazines and stuff like that. We had to, and I'd look for the older Sears catalogs, and I'd find sometimes this stuff, and I'd try and take it home with me, looking for old Star Wars stuff. Incredible. Just J.C. Penney's Christmas, yeah. Death Star playset. Is that the uh, American? I can always get them confused. I don't know. Whatever. I think the I think the Palette's Way one is better. Whatever. Here's another thing. Why is Hasbro not uh, relaunching some? Yeah, you know, I've got one of these. My ATST, and I got one of these, uh, that one on the top there. Oh, yeah. Look at uh, JC Penney's, nineteen eighty-three. What a lineup! Oh, what a what an awesome! I mean, like. That was, like, just those pages. Like, look at that. What a great lineup. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 84. You know, some people say when they came to the power of the Jedi, when the, this stuff started coming out, that Star Wars was dying down. Yeah, it was, but it also wasn't. As soon as VHS tapes were hitting or as soon as it started playing on TV, uh, all the stores would get hit by uh, waves of people wanting to get... To, uh, that's interesting. Oh, I put the thing on. So, yeah. But uh, waves of uh, kids coming and parents asking, where's all the Star Wars stuff? Interesting. Coins. Oh, wow, they even did all the coins. Incredible. Look at that. Oh, the proof cards. Now this would be awesome. Because it really is. I mean, I like it when you don't have the stickers on them myself. Or I don't mind the odd one. But I mean, like if you just had. Like this is where it's at. You know. God knows how much stuff has been lost over the years. Here's the droids lineup, which I... I had a few opportunities to get some of this stuff, and I never did. What an idiot. What a fool. 
The worst was walking by the A-wing a couple times. And I, my brain just didn't clue in that that was actually... You know, and this show actually wasn't too bad. It was pretty damn awesome for a cartoon. You know. But, uh, yeah, A-wing pilot. I think Anthony Daniels was devastated when they... Oh, here we go. The nice 12 backs. Yeah, Anthony Daniels was devastated when they... Uh, the show failed. That would be a nice C three PO. Look at that nice vac metal. That's impressive. I think is that no, it's not. I don't know if that's the. Anyways, no, there it is. Thirty one backers. Oh yeah, I guess that's the the initial uh, Kickstarter. Yep, Germany had 53, Sweden 9, Netherlands. I don't think they got anybody from Norway. Holy cow. Spain, yeah. If I'd known, I, you know, Australia, yeah. Incredible. Oh, what's that there? Isn't that little Gianni? Oh, Gregory. Wow, yeah. Incredible. Well, there it is. This is a 20 minute uh, video. Give you guys uh, a, you know, a good uh, look see into it. And uh, let's see if I can close this up. Damage this here, I'm doing this with one hand. You gotta watch how you take care. I wish I could, uh, wish I got into this earlier. I would have bought a second and a third copy. But anyways, there it is. And on the back of the book, I guess there's, I have to dust in here. Nothing really. There it is, read five designs. Beautiful. Anyways, uh, definitely an, an heirloom book. That is just awesome. One of the best books I've ever seen. Uh, quick little uh, scanning through. Uh, excuse my gibberish. Uh, they're going to do a second uh, print of this, I believe, if they get enough interest. I don't know if they're there yet. But uh, spread it out to the community. Let people know. This is, uh, it's incredible. It's an incredible venture. These guys really went out. So, I mean, and you know, I think if you had uh, 10 times the support, God knows what they would have done. And, uh, they didn't charge a lot for this book. I don't even know how much money they really, I don't even know if they made too much off of it. So, you know, when they say the fans are doing the best work, uh, Michael at Retro Blasting, I think, um, uh, you know, he's a hundred percent right. I think, uh, every, uh, Star Wars YouTube channel out there should take a look at this book um, regardless or collector because this is uh, I think this dwarfs the whole thing everybody else's stuff out there so it's uh, you know you got uh, two monks here Gianni and uh, Gregory Sir, Gian Sir Gianni and Sir Gregory there you go anyways uh, cheers happy 40th